Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series. And I've just finished off all of the chores, I think, that everybody all our apples and pears and berries. Garden's not ready to harvest yet. Have we ever gotten access to the uh, mine? Nope. I've tried to give the one of the pigs a plop lot, but I don't think I've ever gotten the key. Do I have another one? No, I don't. So we'll try to get another one again to give to him. See if it'll work this time. Oop, he's in running the shop. Should probably go check on the shop. But I was also curious if there was anything I haven't picked up in our own area. I was just doing a little a little check real quick. <laughs> oh, we should check the calendar. Uh oh, it's drawer today. Okay. So we wanted to check on the shop and then go do that. Looks like everything's in stock right now, so that's good. I almost just automatically bought carrot seeds. Don't need those. Oh. Uh, make our offerings for today. Um, maybe we'll go with uh, better crops. See, I don't want no extra fruit. So I may need to up this a little bit. Doing that. There we go. So we have no negative, but we still have our two positives. Yeah. All right. I think that's everybody. Six out of six. Yes. Let's head off to Testy Acres. Um, I did see one comment saying that they married Ned, I believe. One of the twins, because he's always smiling, which is a pretty good reason to want to be with somebody. They're always happy. My default was going to be probably Ash Brown, just because one, we had like a quest with them specifically in our childhood. So like it was someone we specifically interacted with. And um, also because we already have the love uh, relationship status with him. So seems like a good backup <laughs> if we couldn't decide anything else. To avoid the bugs when they're about, build your being with river trout. Is it like bug spray, but fish style? <laughs> Is that what that's saying? Ooh, they haven't been to their secret box in a very long time. Don't forget to worship. Thank you, Ned. I guess it wasn't Ned, because Ned looks like he's unhappy. But he likes us, so there's that. Gift him pears. Ooh, he loves us now. Thank you very much. Secrets? Here's a secret for you. I heard Boots Winters likes mint. Oh, good to know. I can actually harvest their stuff and I don't know if that's just because I have a good enough relationship with the house or if it's just not implemented as stealing yet. I can't see you, but Jed is here. <laughs> How are you? Gift, carrot. It's funny, both um, Jed and Ash, I think, both like carrots. I hear Ichabod Moon really doesn't like egg. Huh, good to know. Ooh, book. Uh, ah, yes, I think, believe we've read this one. It's another book by Kane Hines. How are we unfriendly with Warzel? I still think we only know things he doesn't want. At least we know there's only three dislikes, so I can't really go wrong, right? So that was good. Um, so I don't think they have more than three dislikes, so as long as I don't give them those three, I'm not going to ever get another dislike. Oh, that's a sneaky note. When the land is sprinkled white, blood few shirks and takes flight. No blood for you in the winter, it would seem. Hello. So she's neutral. Mushroom pie. I don't have mushroom pie. Don't even know how to make it. Giving you a mushroom. Aha! Uh How -huh. do you know I like such a thing? Yay! He's friendly. Gossip. Poppy Hill Music Festival is something special. Bards and musicians from across the land gather to burst your eardrums while people sell you souvenir tat that at bloated prices. I bought an imprinted shirt that said, "A Rolling Stone gathers no moss." 
It was a proverbial ripoff. Can we use this mine? Yes. I think that one's specifically the one that takes you to uh, Fairweather. In the intro, at least it used to. I think that there's been work done to the whole beginning part of the game. Um, so I don't know what it is anymore, but I think it used to be you'd walk down through their farm onto this area to go travel to Fairweather the first time. Oh, note. When your energy has gone, Apple can help you still go on. Oh. What's this? Oh, a note. I guess that's a reason to go into the mines. Cuckoo doo can be found by tree stumps with blue flowers around. Oh wow, it got so dark <laughs> while I was in there. Uh, let's check this guy. I think maybe I'll spend this episode going through the mines that I can. Just because they can have um, recipes and stuff in here. Okay, so that loops. Good to know. That's where we entered, so we're gonna go up now. I wanna get lost in here. Another exit. Right? Oh, that one didn't open. I kind of expected it to. My home? Yeah. Wow. I can exit through that door, but I can't come uh, go back in, which is really unfortunate because I was not done with that mine. Oh well. Unless that's we're home, I guess I'll head to bed. Thank you, Mr. Pot, for cleaning that. Hey, we've got a letter today. Count summary from the first week of spring. We made 23. All right, and we got 46 uh, reputation. So at least there's that. Still, that's uh, quite a change from previous weeks, I think. Yeah, I made 158 reputation and 214 brass last I ran the shop. Don't know how worth having him work for us is, but maybe someday he'll make it worth it. The garden is ready to harvest. We'll get that taken care of. Ooh, we got a three-star radish. We didn't even have the pig with us. Feels weird not talking to Mr. Pot every day. He just isn't intractable anymore. Keep checking your task list. Thank you, Mr. Pot. So if we check the calendar... Oof. Oh, it's the twins' birthday. It's kind of funny. So I guess I'll go down and do that. Give them a gift. Traveling trader is in the veil. And there's the chicken market. Oh, actually... Before we go... Get equipment, rain stick. We get these guys watered. Oh, and he's right here. Convenient. Your animal cow is hungry. You should feed him. Let's see. No real recipes, but I can buy the wheat. All right. Hello, you do. What do we got? We've got Jed here. How are you? Gift. Find him a fancy carrot. Two star. Great stuff, thank you very much. Any secrets? I can hold a bowl very still, which means I won't spill the beans. Ah, I see. Remembered my birthday. All right, and then Ned, how are you? Gift you a fancy pear. I feel like I should give him a two star to keep it even. Can't give one twin a better quality item than the other. Thank you very much. Any secrets? I have a secret for you. I heard Judd really doesn't like drumsticks. Chicken drumsticks specifically. Thank you for letting me know. Get these guys while I'm here. Alright, good thing I stopped by the shop. There is stuff out of stock. Alright, I put some gummy pies up there because it's actually one of the only things I have any extras of. Oh no. I think I just changed their prices and I didn't want that. Did I change this one's price? I did. I'm trying to put in 10 strawberries. Alright. Ooh. The gooseberry pie was selling really well. Charmweed sold really well. Yeah, she likes drumstick. I only have one though, but I guess I'll give it to her. There's some gossip. 
Rose Thorn was born on the 12th of autumn. Ooh, we've got uh, to love. Ginger Nut was born on the 5th of autumn. How are you? Gift, carrot. And any secrets? Uh, Toby Jug likes bacon surprise. All right. Uh, fun flower? Gossip. Old Jacob is 89. Wow. She likes us now. She's got some pretty easy likes, so that's helpful. Ooh, now she loves us. I ate some dandelion soup last night for supper and the evening dragged on. Yes, it does extend time. Those crumble chalk mines run deep, they say, but nobody knows how to get into them. I'm not sure I would dare venture too far, though. Bad things are found when you dig too deep. Ominous. <laughs> Oh man, it's been a while since I've been in Cuckoo Wood. I like his place. Hello, sir. He has one of the cooler designs, I think. I like the way he looks. Alright, uh... Gift... Blueberries. Gossip? If you want to tittle-tattle, go talk to Tattle Tittles. <laughs> Rainbow Mushroom! I'm so excited I don't even know what tool to harvest it with. There we go. Let's talk to her and then we'll go into that uh, mine. Well, we know exactly what she likes. Uh, do I have milk? Probably not. Okay, so I guess I'll give her a blueberry pie. My last one. I don't like it. Gossip. Jeremy Smith's birthday is the 4th of spring. Can't get into this one. Hmm. Got a lot of mushrooms around here. Nice little fairy ring almost. Grab this before we leave. Primrose. Alright. Uh, travel. I want to go to the village. Because I know you can use the mines there. There we go. Let's head on in. There's anything of note in here. Oh, this one goes straight into something. Hmm. Ah, cowpat. Be cool to get maybe a fair weather thing, where you could get a second map you could look at, which would be all of the mines and where they attach. Ooh. Apprentice level achieved or rating up chance one. All right. Yeah, it didn't occur to me that you'd. Get like nice quality ore. Hmm. The burial grounds. So we we'll go to the big map. We've gone from the village to the burial grounds and to Calpat. Wow. Quite the 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 distance in here. Get ourselves some mushrooms while we're in here. Oh, and a note I walked past. Put an apple in fairy rings and rot it will like darkest things. Interesting. I wonder if that's actually in there. And I don't know that what I saw at, uh, uh, in the cuckoo forest was, would have counted as a fairy ring. I'm trying to think of where more mine, I guess I can go back to, uh, that mine down here. But I don't know where else there are caving systems that we can go through, or mining systems. I guess I'll double check this guy. But I am pretty sure it's just a place to travel. Ooh. Perhaps I'm wrong. Got some mushroom here. Oh, I got double mushroom. Nice. Okay, so it does. Okay. I just don't remember it being so big. But it does lead to where you can go to see Fairweather. Okay, so we know in this caving system that that one leads home. And then this way leads to a loop with a door at the middle of the loop. And we've also got this cool place. But right here, where does this take us?
to uh, Moss Whisper, which I continue to call Mossy Ruins. Apologies, I can't read. So this one doesn't go very far. It goes he from here to here to there. Unlike the one over here, which is cow pat, burial grounds, and the village. It's a mining and mushroom episode, it would seem. Don't know where Peg is, so I can't give him any food, but we can look at the mail. Oh, from John Bowes. Dear Robin, I'm writing to tell you that I value our friendship. Oh, thank you. Some apples. Oh, four star apples. Thank you very much. And then from Edna. Uh, open. More apples. Only three stars, though. I mean, it's fine. Alright, thank you guys for the lovely gifts. Oh, look at the piggies sleeping. They sleep so silly. Aww. They always had that. I guess I never really paid much attention to the sleepy pigs. Oh, and our chickens are sleeping too. Is the sheepy sleeping? Kind of. It says he is, but it's very much still awake in animation. Um, I guess I'll whistle for pe uh, Peg. Hey there, buddy. Here's some food for you. Good boy. Alright, let's head to bed. You can uh, go ahead and go to sleep there, buddy. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We went and checked out some of the mines. We got a lot of mushrooms. I checked out some of the people we're considering. I was going to give it another uh, a little bit to see if anyone else has any suggestions on who to romance. Otherwise, I suppose we'll go with Jed, the smiley one, which I think is Jed. So, <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.